What is up? Don't forget to subscribe, follow me in Dreams. I'm Young Text YouTube and Dreams, Young Text on YouTube, and of course, Young Text on Twitch. Click my channel name, then go to my channel playlist for more useful tutorials that could help you out with your game. You can now click on my channel name, then just scroll down to see useful tutorials, or you can go to the channel playlist for individual tutorials on specific things through specific playlists that you can choose of your choice. To set out streaming over here, feel free to pop into the stream, and if other tutorials pop up up here, feel free to click those if you think they are useful for you. Whenever you place this timeline down, set it to once. This timeline is what is making our character's web start and it's also what's making us move and appear to go forward and upward at the same time at the same time inside of here there's animations and also a camera switcher place a camera in here whenever we start talking about the timeline section of this whenever you are on ground pull out a keyframe put the power or this uh wire into the power of a keyframe what this keyframe does don't keep this keyframe on key changes Whenever your character is on the ground, it switches this to sustain, to sustain, to sustain. So record with that and then press L1 and square on this and then click this. But you don't want that on key changes. Next, distance from ground, pull out a calculator, put down here like 0 0.11, somewhere around there, greater than, result right here, plug that into the B of an AND gate. Whenever all these are lit up, all these are lit up, it sends out a signal to start up our jump, our web swing animation. What this keyframe does, this one right here, not on keep changes, is turns the gravity down to zero. Turns up the springiness, you can mess with that if you want to, it's pretty fun. And turns off procedural walk because the automatic walk that comes with the puppet is gonna be replaced by our web swing uh, technique. What I like to do is turn this off and turn off motion controls. You don't do that while you're recording, you just do that. Next, plug left stick into the A of the AND gate. Next, after that, plug L1 into a signal manipulator's in port and the out port into the C. Put it on these settings. Then pull out an on off switch, keep it on, and then plug the node into the D. Plug this into the input of the on off switch, or, or of the node nodes on these settings. What I like to do for these kind of games is go here, and unplug, fill out a scene from die. You can also unplug all the other stuff that was instantly pre-done for you if you want to. So what's all happening inside of this timeline? Well what's happening is I want you to press L1 and X on your puppet, go to paint mode, lay down a web swing. My web is on these settings, glow, white, you can raise the tint, put this on zero, And you can copy my settings if you want to right here. And you can copy all the other settings if you want to also. Recommend copying this one. Pause the video if you need to copy all of it. 
Inside of the timeline, we have a keyframe that does this, representing us grabbing the rope. I did that all with one keyframe. Make sure you move the dot right here so it fades in. Then we have our bottom section. No data on the first one. And this is what's making our character move forward. What I did was I double clicked this while it was recording. Then I press L2 and did this with the analog stick. Then I upsized it in here, copied it so that way there's an onion skin for the next one. Then I did it again, moving it more up forward. What I did with these keyframes is I clicked all of them after that, then set them to linear. Right here we have a mover. You can copy my settings right here. Make sure that the arrow is moved this way and only move the arrow after you click local space. Then I have another mover making us go more forward. Do the same thing with the arrow. And these are my settings for this. You can mess around with the top part settings right here for both of the movers if you need to. What this keyframe is doing is changing the opacity for this, raising it up to 100. You can also do a fade in effect by moving the dot if you want to. then I have a keyframe under here. The reason we're using a separate keyframe is so we can make the fade out effect or fade in effect. And what this keyframe is doing is changing these settings from right here from zero. So you should instantly have that on zero before the game starts to 100, making it to where the line shoots up like a web. You can also have a sound effect in here if you want to. You can mess around with these settings right here. Next, place a camera down, put it on cut, and copy my settings right here. Pause the video if you need to. And then I have a keyframe. You might not need this keyframe doing this right here. So it's raising it from that to that. And if you see anything else that is changing, copy those settings. Make sure there's a fade out effect near the end. This right here is making it more smooth for the camera to fade out to the original camera. The keyframe that changes the ropes endpoint is also turning off this node, but I do believe I have something else turning off the node. The reason why I chose to do something else is because this keyframe makes it fade in and slowly start to turn that off, while this one turns it off instantly, making it to where you can't spam the rope tap. So that's why you want a keyframe like this to turn off that node. 
make sure the dot for that keyframe is at the beginning, whichever keyframe you choose to make turn off this node. And then place it like I sort of have placed. You want it to be placed throughout the whole animation so you can't use the web swing again until this rope swing animation happens. You want to make sure that the painting for your rope is high enough to touch the, pop, the top part of the screen, go through it, so that way it seems like the web has caught on to something. What this keyframe does Let's see what it does. You shouldn't need that keyframe. If you do, let me know in the comment section below and I'll help you out. This timeline speed, 200%. So if you're gonna make it around the length of mine, which is 350, somewhere around there, then um, make sure you make everything around that same length. On ground is put into restart timeline. And it also switches this to sustain so the keyframe doesn't loop over and over again. Because whenever the timeline restarts, if this isn't on sustain, if it's on anything else, then it'll loop over and over again. This keyframe also turns off the power of this timeline. This calculator is plugged into the B of this AND gate. Make sure this is a good appropriate number for the distance from ground in order to be able to use your web swing. And this is how I made the rope if you need more information on that. I just went here. You can use something from the Dreamverse also. Then I painted the rope, probably put it on line, then downsize it, then change the color, did this. Or if I didn't do that, I just uh, painted it down like this, maybe making an arch at the top. But I did that after scoping into the character. So I scoped in first where we seen this purple thing first. And this is how you scope out. And after that, you should be good. You should be good. Make sure you place a camera in here. Make sure it doesn't extend throughout the whole thing. And if you wanted to do this to where you can hold the button that allows you to swing while you're in the air, just plug this into the C instead of using the signal manipulator settings you see here. And this is how I did the Spider-Man rope swing effect. Again, you can make a sound effect happen for when you use the rope. 
And you can also build upon this also with your own logic. I recommend making a way to where whenever you hit the ground, this polishes out. So that way the camera doesn't clip through the ground. And again, you can do that by making an animation for the impact with the ground and then have the controls disabled, then having the camera inside of the timeline during the impact and the animation on the ground have that above the ground. That's how you can do that. You can mess with the mover numbers if you want to. And make sure the opacity for the rope or the web is on zero and make sure your keyframe raises it and make sure to have fun guys. In order to see things that are invisible, you go here and then here and then click this. And you can click everything else if you need to see other things. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Dreams on Young Text YouTube and Dreams, Young Text on YouTube, and Young Text on Twitch. I hope this helps you guys out. If there's anything I left out or if you're confused about something, feel free to ask me in the comment section below.